Greetings, Father Joe here, your friendly neighborhood pastor, coming to you from St. Patrick's Church in lovely Highland Mills, New York. Today is Labor Day, but we're doing the readings from Monday of the 23rd week in ordinary time. Uh, we have St. Paul telling the Colossians that in his flesh he makes up what is lacking in the suffering of Christ. Uh, going to be an important point for us. Actually, he starts off, he says, I rejoice in my sufferings for your sake. Um, it's not healthy to rejoice in our suffering unless some good comes of it. Uh, but St. Paul says that he rejoices, and it's because he realizes that in his own flesh, in his own suffering, he makes up what is lacking in the suffering of Christ. Uh, the suffering of Christ, by the way, was perfect, but Jesus died once for all 2,000 years ago. And he, he, is, he continually offers himself to the Father, uh, but he gave his life once, he suffered once uh, for all time. So this, whatever is lacking, this would be our participation in our own life. And by the way, what was lacking yesterday and what is lacking tomorrow are not the same as what is lacking today. We are called to offer our lives for the sake of other people. We're called to offer our sufferings, our joys, our sorrows, our hopes, all things. Uh, because that, what is it that is lacking in the suffering of Christ? Our participation because by our baptism we were baptized into Christ Jesus. We are now members of the church, his body. And, and so we have an important role to play. We have a vocation to offer our lives for others. Uh, and St. Paul says, because we want to be able to present you perfectly, or we want to you know, present you perfect to the Lord. Our job, our, our, our role, our function is to help other people get to heaven as well uh, as ourselves uh, so that we can all be perfected. Uh, Jesus says in the uh, fifth chapter of Matthew's gospel that we must be perfect or perfected as our heavenly father is perfect. Uh, God says to Moses and St. Peter repeats it, you know, we should be holy as our heavenly father is holy. St. Luke, Jesus says that we should be compassionate as our Heavenly Father is compassionate. Um, we participate in this by offering our lives for other people. And, and we could also look at Jesus in the gospel today. Uh, he's asked, you know, uh, he asked the Pharisees whether it's uh, acceptable to, to heal, to give life, to do good on the Sabbath? Or rather, is it, uh, you know, should one do something that is evil by destroying life? And of course, the question here is not whether he should give life or destroy it. It's whether he should heal on the Sabbath. And so for him to not heal on the Sabbath would be evil. And, and boy, is that important in our life. If we can do something to help someone and we choose to not do that, that is, uh, that's evil. Uh, it's not the same as killing somebody, but in our souls and in our hearts, it kills part of our soul, part of our heart. And it doesn't help the other person to, to be saved or to be perfected. So, wow, uh, on Labor Day, what is our work? And our work is to participate in Jesus' offering himself at the Last Supper and in the garden and uh, when he was scourged and when he was carrying his cross and when he died on the cross. Uh, our work, our, our human labor is to participate in this, not only you know, so that we can uh, participate in our own salvation, but so that we can be part of salvation history for others. God bless you.